Hey, what's up? We been on part two. Let's go back to that, uh, Tim, uh, what was that, first time? Just start back at the top. Was that a first nine, I think? It says, like men are also that. So, look, what we're going to do, we're going to compare the Bible to the church, right? And what, how the Bible said that people are supposed to act, and how, you know what I mean? How did people actually act? In it? Go ahead. Uh, that women adore themselves in modest apparel. So, women are supposed to adore themselves with modest apparel. You know what I mean? They're supposed to have their, uh, their body covered up. You know, most women, you go to churches, like I said, their breasts are exposed. They're not wearing modest apparel. They're wearing the most expensive clothes they can find. Oh, that's what they call it, the Sunday's best. That whole phrase, you got to wear your Sunday's best. That goes against the scriptures. The scripture said wear modest apparel. It didn't say to wear your best. It's not a fashion show. Okay, you're supposed to, church, a real church is supposed to be about getting knowledge, getting wisdom, getting understanding. That, it's not a fashion show. Go ahead. It says, uh, with uh, shame facelessness, uh, uh, sobriety, not with broadened what? hair of gold or pearls or costly oh, apparel. Right, so that's like we already said in the last video. You got something to say? Oh, no, I was trying to. Oh, uh, you know how you go to the churches on Sunday, the women they all wearing got all kind of gold necklaces, gold bracelets, gold earrings, diamonds, pearls. No, they decked out, bro. That's totally against the scriptures. But they, they do it anyway, they don't know the scriptures. The pastor don't know the scriptures. Go ahead. It says, uh, what become of women professing godliness with good works? Let the woman learn in silence with all subjection. <laughs> Let the woman learn in silence with all subjection. So the woman's supposed to be silent. See, the woman in the churches ain't silent. Ain't none of these women silent. Hey, read the rest of that. It says, but I suffer not a woman to teach nor to observe authority over the man. Silence. To be in silence. So the Holy Bible, the Bible says, I suffer not a woman to teach nor to assert authority over the man. Because according to the scriptures, a woman is not, not allowed to teach. The woman, she can teach another woman, but a woman can't teach no man. No way, no how. And a woman ain't never supposed to be in any kind of a position of authority over a man. Ever. That's how you know America is backwards as hell. The most backward ass country ever created. You got women in authority. You got well, you got women running for a uh, president. Like uh, what's her name? Uh, uh, Pocahontas, what they call that bitch? <laughs> Elizabeth Warren. Bro, they had Hillary running. That's just backwards as hell. But a woman's that's read that part again. You, got, you still got that? But I suffer not a woman to teach nor to observe authority over the man, but to be in silence. So a woman's supposed to be in silence. So the scriptures say you can't have women preachers. That's in the Bible. So if you... <laughs> there ain't nobody following the Bible, bro. The Christians, they Christians in name only. They don't follow that book. A Christian don't give a damn about the Bible. They don't care about that. Yeah, they always try to make some damn excuses. And shit. They always got excuses. Yeah, damn. Now anything goes in these churches. The churches are really the church of Satan. They, that's really the devil they worship up in there. Everything the Bible says to do, the church does opposite. They don't want to have no parts with this book. It's, uh, 1 Corinthians 14 and 34. Let your woman keep silence in the churches. Oh, that's right here. It said, let your woman keep silence in the churches. So why you got women speaking all up in them churches? They're going against the Bible. Hey, read that again. Let your woman keep silence in the churches when it's not permitted unto them to speak, but they are commanded to be under <laughs> obedience as also saith the Lord. Yeah, so the woman's supposed to be in obedience. She's supposed to be in silence. You're like, silence, woman. But y'all got a problem with that. Like I said, because they done... Uh, the man, the man in America has been emasculated. The, the men in America, they've been turned into women through the brainwashing. You know what I'm saying? Y'all all messed up in the head out here. Y'all think women are equal to men? That's, you sound crazy speaking that. You know what I mean? Talking about men and women are equal. You got your brain. You got your mind. You're smoking fucking crack. 
Hey, show me one thing equal with a man and a woman. How are we equal? If men and women are equal, how come women's not in the NFL yet? That's discrimination. You know what I'm saying? I want to see a woman fight uh, Tyson Fury. So we equal. Who was that? Who was that little <laughs> weird ass transgender shit? Remember the the, the, the transgender? He's like a UFC fighter. He fought some bitch. And he, like, he posing as a girl. Yeah, he yeah. fought some bitch. Nigga broke her skull or whatever. Yeah, he, he, he fucked that bitch up. Yeah. And then, oh man, this is a video. This is a video. Oh shit. There's a video of all these bitches crying about uh, the transgenders coming into uh, different sports and shit. Uh -huh. Bitches crying on, on uh, track. That's a big tag, yeah. Because I guess they, they suck at their at the men, so they so they suck, so they go to the women's shit. So they can dominate. And they, they dominate. And they all they're crying and shit. How is that fair? Yeah. That's about as fair as me playing like basketball against kindergartners and dunking on them like I'm not tired. Yeah. <laughs> it's like let's go kickboxing for fucking five year olds and shit. Yeah. You gonna whoop that little kid's ass? I mean, you ain't look at all. Oh, we can go to the intellectual field. It's not all about physicality. Let's go to the, inc the the realm of intellectuals. All the greatest inventors, they're all men. We go from uh, Nikola Tesla was a man, not a woman. What about your boy Albert Einstein? You get, let's say he was a fraud. He's a man. You go to all the great. Oh, uh, what's your boy, the modern day Tesla? Uh, Elon Musk, that fucking weirdo. He making moves. He a man, though, not a woman. You know what I'm saying? Who started, uh, Microsoft, started by Bill Gates, a man, not a woman. All, all the big shit was all done by men, not women. You'll have your rare exception. She probably a tranny. <laughs> Try to think of some. I'm trying to think of something a woman did invent. The apple pie? I think she made the apple phone, right? The That's iPhone? Yeah. That one made it by the woman. Yeah, what? Really? Maybe. It had to be an Israelite woman, see? It's on the way. It'd be the Israelite woman. I mean, it's a smart bitch. Nah, they're not on the level of a man, though. Yeah. A woman, a woman can't, she ain't got the endurance that we got to sit up all fucking night long and straight dedicate our lives to this whatever field we're in. That's, that's a rare trait for a woman. Because a man, we, we, a man, when we get into something and we get into our work, we really get into that work. We won't sleep, we won't eat. You know what I mean? We'll obsess over it. And that's when a woman get mad at you. You working too much. I'm going to leave you. You see? Because it's not in the woman's spirit to be working all the time, but it's in the man's spirit to be working like that. We about that work. We obsessive with our work. So let's, let's get down to our verse 37. If any man think of himself to be a prophet or, uh, or a spiritual, let him acknowledge that the things that I write unto you are the commandments of the Lord. That's a commandment of the Lord. So if you're a spiritual man, you know what I mean? You're supposed to listen to these words. It said, let the woman be in silence. They just, <laughs> it, it's certain scriptures, bro, you just love reading them. Especially when you out in public with women around. You love letting the women know. Like, look, y'all supposed to be in silence. We take great pride in bringing this message to you. Great pride in our work. Yes, we take great pride in this work. This is a good feeling, man. Come out, you're reading the scriptures. I, they ain't got to listen. You heard it. But you got all these men out here, they simps, man. They got these cap and saver hoes. You say anything bad about it. Not even bad. You just try to correct a woman. They come Captain Saber ho. Out, dun, 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 dun. Just out of nowhere. I shall save this hoe. Yeah. It's like, that's the thing. That's that. They call these men and women. That shit's bullshit. Because then, they, uh, they, uh, what's it, they, uh, you, like for example, like the bus or whatever they say. You know that, you know that shit, man spreading, man spreading or whatever the fuck? Yeah, yeah, I do that all the time. Yeah, I, I, look, I take them two Yeah, now look, if you, they say if a man go in the bus and he, man, he spreads, I mean, you got a fucking penis in there. I mean, you 
got to be trying to be nasty, but you got to tuck inside of your, you know. You put your legs, legs all close together and get it squished. That's uncomfortable. That can cause to, damage. You got to spread. Now, they, then there was a movement against that, and then they, uh, Bish made some type of chair to where man can sit into it, and his legs yeah. in, like, closed in together. But she made a chair for women, for her legs to be spread open. So if we supposed to be fucking equal, why the hell you doing it? You doing our job? We gotta do your job. You, no, that's, that's that's trading places. You trying you trying to be uh, you trying to be on on the dominant side and let us be on the woman's side. What you trying yeah. to do? You trying to make us the women? You trying to make us the feminine? Like women got balls. You trying to be a masculine and shit? That's man. That shit's not equal. That shit's bullshit. Yeah, that's some bullshit. Come on, be equal with bitch. I remember watching a the video. There was uh, Benjamin's Jamaicans. This bitch was hitting this nigga. Saying, slapping him, hit him with his shoe, <laughs> and everybody was just sitting there. They wasn't doing nothing. They was just, they was just sitting there. And then this nigga got mad. And he like slapped her or whatever. And then everybody came. Oh no, 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 no! Let me get the fuck out of here, man. So if back, you won't be equal, then don't hit a man. Don't get, don't get surprised when a man hits you back. Back you know in the saying? ancient world, she probably got put to death. Oh hell yeah, she got. What's the scripture yeah. on that? If a woman hurts a man's in the stones, yeah, that's yeah. She gets put to death. Yeah, yeah. or I think her arm gets cut off. You don't cut off arms, dude. Yeah. You gotta look that scripture up. It's been a minute since I looked at that one. Let me see if I can find it. Get it. Let's see if can find it first. We have a contest. It should be under stones, right? That's probably in the book of the. Uh, Deuteronomy or Leviticus? Or numbers? I don't know. <laughs> I just named all kind of books. Like, is it one of them? Oh, shit. He that is wounded in, st in the stones. In the stones. <laughs> Your balls are called stones. Oh, yeah, that is the best way to function. Yeah, it's not. I've been heavy into the law lately, and I can't remember what it's called. Let's see what that says. They did get a little, a little dropped about five, seven degrees. Men strive together one with another, and the wife of the one drive near for to deliver her husband out of the hand of him that smiteth him, uh, put it forth her hand, and take it from by the secrets. Uh, oh, it said secrets. Yeah. It says, then shall that cut off her hand. Damn! So thine eyes shall not pity her. I forgot, I forgot I said that. That's brutal. That's how serious that was. You grabbed the man's nuts? Wow. That's crazy. Oh, shit, there's a video of this bitch going around the city, whatever, and she's just grabbing niggas' nuts yeah. out of just, just walking up. There you go. If we did that, we'd be in jail. Yeah, if you did that to women, grab her by pussy, we'd be locked up with that. Nigga. There ain't no equality. That equality's bullshit. And Esau, the so-called white man, he knows it's bullshit. The motherfuckers writing the laws of equality, they know it's bullshit. All they trying to do is create confusion. You know what I mean? That's... To keep the people as fucking doped up, as docile as possible, keep them as confused as possible. You keep them in a, a bewildered, that's a bewildered state right there. Your boy bewildered. Is that what? <laughs> uh, we, we just, as soon as we say that, that confused state, you can't, I don't know if that camera got, this dude walks by with some tight ass, a man walks by with tight ass pants with pink shoes. No socks. Yeah, wearing pink shoes and yeah, that's not cool. Tight ass pants, no socks with pink shoes. What the fuck they do that at? In America, that's where they do it at. That's where that shit is normal now. It's normal for a fucking weirdo to walk down the street with some got five color rainbow colored hair, tight ass pants, you know what I'm saying? Some pink shoes. This fucking butt cheek showing or some bugged out shit. It's it's cool to be a weirdo now. That, that the, the being a weirdo that's the new 
That's the new normal is being a fucking weirdo. They embrace that weird shit out here. The weirder, the better. That's, the, that's how they feel out here. Look at your boy over here think he's little Uzi bird. You know what I mean? Everybody think they cool, you know what I mean? I hate these motherfuckers, man. What'd you say? He's a boy, Dwayne Wade, son. Oh, that motherfucker, man. Yeah, he, he's a son. He's somebody's son. He, he's a leader of us. Like, nigga, what? He's nigga, what? How the hell is he? Ooh, it's what a deep motherfucker in the face. I like always that. thought Dwayne Wade was gay as fuck myself. The way he walked, he looks like he's gay. He a little effeminate, you know what I mean? Fuck a Dwayne Wade, man. You a goddamn disappointment, man. A goddamn disappointment. Fucking. You the laughing stock of the world, really, because most Israelites, most men, they ain't falling for that faggot shit unless they a faggot. Because he was getting roasted on the internet. You see Dwayne Wade getting roasted? He got ro I see Lil Boozy. He said, Lil Boozy got on his ass. And he a little boo, uh, he a, he a demon, you know what I mean? That dude, he ain't righteous. But even he can see that you, that you way more wicked than him, shit. You pushing it, it's okay for your son to be a fucking tranny. 12 years, 12 years old, son's a fucking tranny. Fuck out of here. You little bastard trying to sound all intelligent in the little golf cart. Nigga, you don't know what the fuck you talking about. You don't know shit. 12 years old. I mean, you a grown ass man now. But still, you still a little ass kid. Pretty much, you got a mentality of a little kid. You know what I'm saying? Even you might be physically grown, because, you know, according to scriptures, you're grown at 12. Yeah. But you still got to go through experience of life, and then you got to grow up. You know what I'm saying? He's, he's still immature. Probably still play with fucking toys and shit. You talking about you a, now you a girl? You, yeah. you, you're not a man at all until you're born again anyways. Yeah. You know? I, 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 I didn't become a man until I was like 30. So I was like 30. I was, I was a, when I was 29, I was a 29 year old little boy. You know what I mean? A fucking retard. Dwayne Wade, fucking faggot. Yeah, Kobe was first, Dwayne Wade might be next. Who coming next? You know, got Kobe's ass, who's, who's next? That nigga Lil Boosie, he's gonna get put to death. Cause when Lil Boosie made that video, you see in the background, it says judgment. Oh, dude? Yeah, it's just dead right, right inside of his wall. So he's going to get it because Lil Boozy flicked off the most side for, for some cold or whatever. But yeah, he said. Oh. Yeah, I already knew Boozy was. Well, I, I watched Boozy interviews on Vlad and shit, but he's always saying something don't sit right with him. I think he done murdered somebody and got off with it. Yeah. He was on death row. So that dude, they. He getting older, so he trying to get a little. Never like it. Nah, I, I always thought his kind of, his raps were kind of whack, actually. Why the hell is he always yelling and shit in his raps? This is terrible. Uh, he's a big bill. He always fucking yelling. Oh, so, so Isaiah three and uh, twelve asked for my people, children, all their oppressors, and women rule over them. Yep, women ruling over us, man. And they put the women up. When you go to school, though. They prepare you for that shit in life, bro. Uh, when you go to school, all the teachers is women. So here it is. They putting in the minds of the men that the women are authority figures. How you gonna have a woman teach a man? That don't even make no goddamn sense. A woman teach a man. And it's backwards as all. If there's any men teachers at the schools, they're homosexuals. I mean, I know, we all went to school. We know this. When I went to school... I ain't gonna say all the men teachers were homosexuals. I say about 75, 80% of the men teachers were gay. Like openly gay. You're like, yeah, this guy, he's a flamer. You know what I mean? I can remember their names. There's a bunch of fucking weirdos. And the women teachers were terrible. Horrible. Poor, I didn't learn nothing. I had a woman algebra teacher. I was lost. I was fucking lost, bro. I had to teach myself algebra. <laughs> Actually, I did have one good uh, woman, a female math teacher back in the eighth grade. I'll give her a shout out. Yo. What you talking about? Is it what? Is 
Green is what? The Israelites. Me too. Yeah, you know, black man and all that shit. Crazy thing, right? Tell me more, what you know about it? Shit, we started. Well, pretty much, we got here teaching that the uh, end times did. I said that the boys come back to the area. So called Blast at Tino's Dead Americans. The ones that scattered the broad. What? So called Blast at Tino's Dead Americans. Okay. And uh, 12 uh, tribes of Israel or something. Yeah. The ones that scattered the broad. You're telling people to repent for the kingdom of heaven is there. I was about to read that. There's that Matthew 10, 5, and 6. Uh, this is what the Lord said. It's Matthew 10 and 5. It says, These 12, Yahweh Shai sent forth. That's another thing we teach. You can teach the Lord's real name, Yahweh Shai. I thought it was like Yahushua and Yeshua. That's what some people say, but that's not right. It's, it's Yahweh Shai. Yahweh Shai? Yeah. The the end, nah, Shai. Shai. Yahweh Shai. Yahweh Shai. Yahweh Shai. Or you just know the name of them. Yeah, it's a Hebrew. I mean, the English Bible said Jesus. Right. When you look at it, like some people say Yehoshua, but his name in the Hebrew don't end with an A. It don't have a U or an A in it, like Uwa. It has like an I sound. In it. When you know, you know the Hebrew, it would be obvious when you see it. Right. You know what I mean? Somebody told me, like, you know, it's like Abraham, Allah, like the Ah sound. Well, I, I love like Yahweh. Allah is Hebrew. That's a, it means God in Hebrew. Tell me what this means. I thought this was the beast of this shit and stuff that I've heard. I didn't even worry about it. Allah, right? They yeah. were like, we don't say Jesus, right? But they say Allah. Now someone said, look at the letters of Allah, it's like arm, leg, leg, arm, head. It's like <laughs> God with a body, right? That would still be Jesus. Man, that's, such, sure, right? that's one of the more tricks people try to do. You think so? Because the Bible says B I B L E, which is the basic church of the earth. Yeah, that's a that's an English word though. We'll come from the Greek. The word Bible is not in the Bible. You know what I mean? Like that. You know what I'm saying? It's like scrolls or scrolls written. Yeah. So if people like to do little tricks with the word, that's fine. You know what I mean? But let me read this though, real quick. These 12 Yahweh Shai sent forth and commanded them, saying, Go not into the way of the Gentiles and into any city the Samaritans enter ye not, but go rather to the lost sheep of the house of Israel, and as you go, preach, saying, The kingdom of heaven is at hand. So that, that's really what we're out here doing. That's people just confused. They don't know who they are. And right. And it's coming and they're about to bust up the dog. Right. Uh -huh. You're supposed to be repenting. I repent, bro. I'm, I ain't going to cap to y'all. I'm just going to repent right now. You feel what I'm saying? But well, they know what's that repent? Drink, it's all good. They're not against the scriptures. He ain't telling me don't drink. He said don't get drunk, right? What? Well, How can you drink without getting drunk? Yeah. Right, if I have a beer, I'm not drunk. The you. first beer, I don't know about you. One is all it takes for me, boy. You ain't drinking, baby. Hey, I'll get slapped. Yeah, I'm not. I'm not a big drinker, though. I used to be. I used to be an alcoholic. I'm actually pretty good now. I just drink a couple of them. All right. 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 That's that's how you're supposed to just drink it in uh, moderation. There it is. Yeah, sometimes you gotta get a little. I'll give you a scripture for that. Let me get Please. There's a scripture about this. There's all kind of. I let me, man. No God gave us weed. No that. I don't know about that's a medicine. You ain't supposed to smoke it. You're supposed to inhale it. I mean, you're supposed to uh, put the medicine in your wound. You can eat it. Drink it, mm -hmm. eat it. So I make edibles in my life. Yeah. I'm getting my grandma fucked up. Y'all should have told me that. I mean, <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. I'm just I mean, that's some medicine. Yeah. Everybody know that. I love it. What was that about to look at? Oh, I don't forget. I know she was nervous and shit. I just looked at her like three times. The white girl goes to me. Took that and I was like, all right, I'm going to get outfit clean. She got nervous. Look at her. Oh yeah, there's a. Uh, you got something? Oh, yeah. Well, yeah. This is Sirach 31, and uh, we to it. It says, the furnace proved the edge by dipping, so does wine the hearts of the crowd by drunkenness. Wine is as good as life to a man if you're drunk moderately. Yes, bro. That's like every day you drink until you're picking up your pain, right? Since you ain't going to God, you feel like counting the hill and all that stuff, you're going to the beer. I mean, then it's a bad thing because God is God. Is that kind of what that's saying? Well, you're right, because, I mean, you can use beer and liquor, whatever, to, to cope, but really, you're supposed to really lean on the person on the most high. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, you're supposed to lean too much on that. I don't 
but he did well, make it. Well, I got that, that subscription right here. Because oh. yeah. I, I, it goes both ways. Though. Bring it, bring it. It goes both ways. Uh, I just started, this is Proverbs 31 and 4. Actually, uh, let's just start at 3. Talk we'll get on the women. Give not thy strength unto the women, nor thy ways to which destroy of kings. Make, you don't let a woman, you, you in charge of the woman, the woman's not in charge of you. happened to me, bro, because I didn't read that. What the yeah. fuck? You supposed to, <laughs> you in charge, Damn. you know what I'm saying? The, the, the man is over the woman. No, of course, of course. Of but course. Uh, well, they, they put it against her and they pretty face and shit. Yeah. Yeah. We got, we got all the scripts. Now, Look, it is not for kings or Lemuel. It is not for kings to drink wine, nor for princes to drink, drink strong liquor. Drink. You know that strong liquor. drink. You know that. That's yeah. I remember that. So I, obviously, so you get fucked up off drinking and make you do dumb ass shit. Obviously, speak dumb shit. Do but dumb yeah, shit. right. You don't think about it. You ain't disciplined. Like right. But look, lest they drink and forget the law and pervert the judgment of any of the afflicted. But then it says this. Give strong drink unto him that is ready to perish, and wine unto those that be of heavy hearts. Well, I mean, listen, I'll continue. Let him drink and forget his poverty, and remember his misery no more. So, I mean, I, you know what I mean? I'm not I'm a boss, yeah. okay, I got a rich, and I'm drinking, because I just lost the fucking job, or oh, a bitch shit. is stupid or something. Like, yeah. To the cause of my pain, like, that's real to me. People are in fact, they eat to cover their pain. If you smoke cigarettes, you smoke to cover right. pain. You drink to cover your pain. You a positive, Every, same shit, bro. Everybody got to do something to take the edge off, you know. But they don't know who y'all saying. I just like that because... That's a knowledge of really... Yo, I'm down... This is my first year of the day. I used to be an alcoholic, drinking all the fucking day until I pass out with the whole thing. And fuck my eating. I've been there. I'm going to that for the Bible. I got it on me, bro. I'll be both day. You know what I'm I ain't just messing with y'all. I was trying to see what y'all know. I, got, I, I got like that. I got a little straw the crib. It's like beige or something. It's like a little pass on the bottom. I love it. <laughs> I don't rock it, though. You know what I mean? This lady gave it to me. It's preaching to me. Put oil on it. Oh, shit. Oh, my God, lady. <laughs> I'm scary, but hey. She might have cursed it. No, I don't think she did, bro. I don't really don't think she did. I, love it. I, I got, I, this is the real uh, thing that's going to hold you down there, right? Okay. Isaiah oh, 30. I, I mean, it's obvious. Isaiah 30, 30 and 7. Hold on, hold on, hold on. 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 And wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of thy times and strength of salvation. The fear of the Lord is his treasure. Okay. So that's the, the wisdom and knowledge is going to be your stability. You know so what I mean? So knowing how to handle yourself and what to do. Because when you're occupied in wisdom, you know what I mean? You spend more, when you're spending more of your time studying, teaching brothers, you know, doing the work, and you're constantly using your mind, that becomes like the new drug. You know what I'm saying? I get addicted to that shit. You know I mean, what I'm saying? Doing that, I do. Cause after, that's why I got to a point that I was studying so much, I was doing uh, you know, so much different stuff. The alcohol was slowing me down. Yeah. Like I was like, yeah. I'm all dizzy and shit. I can't even read. Bro, me too, bro. I ain't gonna cap. They both slow me down. But then I conquered that shit, and I was like, I think I was trying to get a job, so I quit the weed. And then I was trying not to become an alcoholic no more, so I started drinking water. Or alcohol, legal. and at the end of the night, I'm like, man, I deserve a fucking beer, man. I ain't drinking all day. Oh, no and I'm drinking one. Right. Now I'm giving a fuck. You drinking that OD, boy? That shit had me gone. Exactly. Only one. Let <laughs> <I ain't even laughs> <gone. laughs> me go. I ain't even gone. I'm just all right. I feel pretty good. Yeah, I already drink an OD, bro. That shit had me want to go adventuring. <laughs> That's pretty sad. Uh, this uh, song's 119, and uh, uh, sorry, 49. It says, "Remember the word which thy servant." Upon which thou hast caused me to hope. This is my comfort and my affliction, for that word has quickened me. So this word is you know, the Bible. This got to be real comfort, you know what I'm saying? Like when like, I'm going through some stuff, oh, what's it? What? Look at the Bible, bro. I mean, the one that I hold. And I forgot about this. Do y'all remember all your scriptures? Or someone say something, I just know where it is. I mean, we got to look a lot of stuff. That's freaking awesome. Okay. I can't do that. I ain't going to cap. We got the phones, too, though. We got to look shit up. This is what I mean by what you just now said to me. I've been doing this. You got that jail bar. Yeah, that's what I'm doing. 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 Yeah, that's what I'
when well, your yeah. poor woman's gonna come and seduce you and shit, <laughs> then the bitches will come. The proverb. And I'll be like, oh my god, the just told me about you. Let me get the fuck away from you real quick. Help me. Stop me. I was drinking and smoking too much. The proverbs is good, oh, man, because those are easy to understand. Well, not really. I was in jail reading the proverbs, and then this Somalian dude, coolest thing ever happened in my life. Somalian dude was like, well, what are you reading, man? I'm like, you don't read this, nigga. It's the Bible. <laughs> he said, hey, look, man, I'm, I'm interested. So right. I was like, let me tell you what it's saying. Because it was like, these thousands, thousands, not. But I kind of understood it when I was reading it. And I broke it down to the nigga, man. And he was like, bro, I want to get down with that. Like, I wanted Jesus. Right. I was like, are you for real? <laughs> first the nigga in jail. He was like a Somali. And I was like, he could have been an Israelite. That's good. No, yeah, I think he might have been. He had a little chicken and shit. I don't know. Well, I'm saying like, though, because Israel is scattered among all these nations. Like, like Somali. that the average Somali is a Hamite. They don't descend from Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. If you like so-called black people in America, they're not the same people as Somali. It's a different nation. You know, you see the difference. Yeah. Different spirit. Yeah. But some of our people, they still scattered among the Somalis. See you know what I'm saying? Because Israel scattered everywhere. You know see what I'm saying? This. Among all nations. I reckon among people, bro. If you when I start talking to you and you get what I'm saying and you, and you, and you collab with what the fuck I know, I feel like God was talking to you too because you're one of us. And if you look at me like, oh, you old motherfucker, I would thump an ass, da, 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 da. I say, well, you must not be one motherfucker, you a Gentile or whatever you they call that. Right, right. That's the spirit. Yeah, yeah. That, 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 no. You got that easily. You know that makes sense. Yeah. A lot, yeah, you said that perfectly. A lot of people, they look at it and they, they, they don't understand that, but you just said it perfectly. Like, if somebody, if you like, we are a teacher and somebody understands us, even if they look like a heathen and they understand like it, what, they, they're, they're a part of you, Like bro. we talk like, about that fight. You planted a seed. You watch that fight? Tyson Fury? Uh, Tyson versus Zoo. Wow. Uh, you I know, I you know Tyson Fury, right? You know who he is, right? UFC? No, oh, boxing. Oh, my goodness. What are you talking about, bro? Oh, my goodness. You talking about That's Tyson? I'm thinking about Mike Tyson and shit. He's, he's an Irish yeah, fighter. Irish, yeah, he Irish. just beat Deontay Wilder. Oh, but anyway, but he an Irish dude, a white dude. But he actually, he's an Israelite. He descends from black people. You know, you, know the, you know the Irish descend from black people, right? When you look into history. You would think so. I'm, I'm black people are always drinking. Irish is like this. Let me get that thing. They do, though. So I can agree with that one. That's true, though. Tell me a little like more. Like that, that ancient name for uh, Ireland is uh, Hibernia. It would come from the word mm. Hebrew. It comes from the word Hebrew. Which is in the Bible. Okay. Like you said, that's why they always drinking. You know what I mean? Can I, can you tell me this? Am I wrong about this? Now I remember my preacher told me, I read about it, my mom told me. But there was like everybody spoke one language, they was all building a freaking tower to get to God. Yeah, God tower. was like, bro, anything you try to do together, you can do it. Nothing can stop you, you're gonna die. So then he like split everybody's languages up and if you understood me, you know me. That's the entire Babylon. If you understand him, you know him. And everybody was like Asians now and Africans now and all the different what, shit now. They, they still had, they already had the separate nations, but what happened was all the nations was coming together and work. Yeah, the Most High didn't want the nations to come together. All the nations was supposed to be separate. So what? So, so the, tr that threw me off the transgression the that they did was they all the nations was coming together and defiance of the Most High. You know what I'm saying? It's pretty much just like America. So they weren't trying to get to God for a good thing. I that, don't, that was a defiance of the Most High building that tower. I thought they was going to kill themselves when he was looking out. Like, uh, yeah, y'all too smart. Y'all about to kill yourself. Y'all don't even know. That's why uh, it's called the Tower of Babel. But that's yeah. why America, in the scriptures, America is known as Babylon the Great. It's a land of great confusion. Same thing happening here. All the nations all coming the gay, together. All the gangster, all the killing, all the Any, Anything shit. goes. You can worship whatever gods you want out here. You know what I mean? You can do whatever you want out here. What do y'all think about this, though? By the name of God is many. Everybody has a different language. He got, he got one name. Is it Jehovah? He's got... Is, is, it, is, it, is, it, is it... I mean, is it, is it Jehovah? Now, my uncle... He argues with me. Jehovah's the way that... This is Jehovah's witness. That's different. That's how I the don't even like that shit, but I love it. It's wrong. That's how the yeah. English Bible says it. That's, but, that's I mean, English. is it Jehovah? Is, and it, the, and is it, it I am that I am? She said to Moses. Is it we, Jesus? We can break it down too. Is it Allah? What a body? The most high name. What's up? It's not Jehovah, it's Yahweh. Because if you go, I'm saying, if you go to a Mexican, you would never hear him say Jesus, Yeshua, none of that. He Mexican, gonna say, well, he's going to say Jesus. Well, but well, you no. show him the picture of Jesus, he's going to say, yes, Jesus, Jesus. 
Uh, you give him the cross, you know what the fuck you talking about? Actually, uh, his, his language was changed for her differently than yours, but it's the same meaning. Noah, everybody, every religion has Noah, right? The only thing about this, though, is the Bible, the only real Bible actually is the Hebrew Bible. In the, no, uh, the Quran. The five the Quran. books of, 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 of Moses or something? But that's the, uh, the Torah. The Torah. Right. That's so all in saying? Hebrew. What you saying? Well, I, I said <laughs> the real book. I'm the sorry. real Bible is the Hebrew Bible. Okay, all, the, the English that's a translation. Yeah, because I don't speak Hebrew. You don't say so I'm not what hello, 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 That's why we gotta speak English. Right? You gotta say it in English. Right. But, I'm like, oh Jesus got you. Right. The God, okay. So when cross. you but when you read the Hebrew Bible if, and you know the Hebrew, it becomes very clear to the most high's name is Yahweh. And his son's name is Yahweh Shah. That is interesting. I, I always heard Show it was Yahushua and Yeshua. Yeah, Yeshua, like, right, like I, yes, you I, are. You know about that too. Thought about it, like, if I had like a pen and yes, paper, you are, whatever the, you think you are. I, if we had a chalkboard out here, I'd break it down to Yahusha. That's your Yahusha. 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 Zephaniah three and nine. It says, "For then will I turn to the people of pure language, that they may all call upon the name of Yahweh, which is the to serve." Him. Not the same person, that's what I'm saying. Because he's the son of the Most High. 
Yeah, he said this in the, the Bible too. Is, the Christians is outright say he is the heavenly father. He is the father. Yeah, which is weird. But he's not though. I mean, the Bible be confusing me sometimes, to be honest. But it, it's set up like that, though. It's good. The Most High sets up, he set up stubborn blocks. So you want to know and study it. Because it's not, I mean, it's not for everybody, you know what I mean? It's, uh, I thought it was. I thought it was like, ah, it's I thought it was the instructions for the earth. Like, if you don't know this, this is fucked. No, this is the instructions for the earth. Y'all recording this? That's that old Killer Priest thing. Excuse you know Killer Priest, right? He, he made up, well, I don't know if he, he didn't make it up, he made a song, the basic instructions for our leaders. You don't know about Kurt Priest? Is he a rapper? Yeah, Wu Tang. Oh, okay. He used to do what we do until he fell out. He fell out the tree. I want to do what y'all do. I want to know more about it though. I was going to listen to read the whole Bible. That's hard to do. I started from Matthew. I started reading and I kept reading. I got to like 28 chapters. I was like, oh my God, this is Jesus as fuck. It was scary. When I got to Isaiah, that nigga was like, what the fuck? God gonna do what? Nigga, what the fuck? Oh, this is scary. You just gotta... Tell me something. I'm sorry. Uh, uh, this is uh, because a lot of people, one way they try to prove the Trinity, they say, like you said, three and one, right? Yeah, like us, a mind, body, and spirit. That's a fucking human being. But everything. You the have a mind, you got a body, and you have a spirit that's eternal. With you think with your mind, your body manifests, and your spirit is forever. With that's the, the Trinity. The most high is everything. Exactly. Yeah. He's in you. Right, so we don't look to the sky and see God. He's in us, right? Yeah. The kingdom of heaven is within you. Yeah. Okay. Tell me. So, 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 are we are we one with the Most High too? Not yet. Until see, we fucking do what Jesus did. So, so, if we one with the Most High, does that make it was it forfeited? Or? Jesus said, didn't Jesus not say you are all gods? They was gonna kill him for yeah, saying he's the son of God. And they was like, oh, blasphemy. He said, it, it's not written in your word that you are all gods. Says, that, what that, does that mean? That does that mean that we so, belong yeah. to God so or that we're gods? We're gods. We are gods. He's, he's, Yahweh is, is the God under the Most High. You know what I'm saying? Like that. We, we got like that. I like that. I like that. This is very Oh, uh, I got a scripture from Lowe's Top. Tell me. Uh, John 17 and uh, 20 says, Neither pray I for these alone, but for them also which shall believe on me through their word. Uh, and it says, That they all may be one, as thou, Father, art in me, and I in thee, that they also may be one in us, that the world may believe that thou hast sent me. So, Said we're gonna be one too. Does that so mean everybody gonna be one together? Ain't gonna be nobody like, oh, you old motherfucker. I mean, I was, rap, you old Mexican. It's obvious because there's it's, one spirit, one truth. Yeah, just saying we all gonna be on one agreement. That's like there's yeah. God, there's children. There's, yeah. That's there's, it. There's one no body. No more disagreements, no more trying to kill each other over different, over different races and shit. I think the different religions is just a way to, to separate we don't the, have a the religion. body of Christ. We, this ain't religion. I'm not a Christian, bro. I'm, we, a, I'm we, a disciple of God. I wanna know well, what we're talking Christian, about. What do we do? Like you do it, that's it. I love everybody. I don't beat nobody don't up no more. I used to fuck people up, bro. I used to, I used to be a gangster. You hear me? That's I don't just sit down because I learned what God said. My mama was like a minister, bro. I went away from her. I said, you ain't my dad. You ain't not going to be a man. I'm going to drink find out how to be a man. I did all kind of stupid shit. Went to jail. Almost got killed. People got killed. And I went back to God. And she told me this. First off, I, you know how you got niggas out here between men that have like eight women, them, their girlfriend, they just playing the game, fucking the rest, like that shit. My mama said, when I was, I had like 13 girls, bro, and I called them all, right? I know this is bad, I was a kid. My big bro taught me how to be. Gang me a lot of shit. And then she said this, what would you do if somebody did to me? If you assist me? I said, I'm, 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 you know what I mean? I'm gonna tear him, I'm gonna break his chin. She said, well, every woman is somebody's daughter, mother, sister, auntie, right? So I thought about this. That's fucking true. So I stopped. I cut all the girls off. I got one. But she was already fucking Americanized. <laughs> so she did me bad. Feel me? That's where I'm at now. I'm trying to figure out how not to get thug. Not to be too nice. But be like pleasing to God. It ain't easy, bro. Right. Girls, when you, when you be 100 and be godly to them, they be like, oh, you too soft. When they go to a thug and they complain to you about, like, oh, he's always doing this, he's controlling me, he's right. just wants to kill me. You can't I'm do like, no you're fucking, you don't understand. You can't like, do nothing with these women, man. So, I, shit, I need one, though. I don't understand <laughs> how to do it without it. I mean, you know, I got one daughter, I ain't got no chick. All now. I can say, I can't set just hopes too high with the women. You know what I mean? Like the scripture says, uh, uh, seek not a woman, but if you marry, you don't, you don't go off, you're not sinning, but, but, 
had one for eight years. And, look, it, it, it's like in this world, you ain't got a wife no more. You got your turn with a bitch. Yeah. You, you're getting turns. And that's fucking stupid, but it's true. And it's like, how do you do God's, like how he made marriage? How do you do that in this time and age where you got to have a thug, you got to have a thought, and if you're nice and you're morally, Cause what you it is get kicked to the cause curb. Because look, in Treat America, there's shit. no morals. They say the Bible's bullshit. Yeah. They, they say the you man and the woman. Church, right? They say a man and woman's equal. It's all this is all designed to break up the family. I would I would agree with one of those statements. A man and woman is equal because think about this. Now, not their role. Okay, it's the father and the son. I mean, then the, then, I mean, there's the God and there's the father and there's the wife and there's the kids. And they all fall in line. Okay, but that's not the equal part I'm talking about. I just mean when God made man, He made man and woman. One time, but he no, he made Adam first, and no, he no, made no. Eve to be a help me. I can read it to you. He made man and woman. He said, "Man and woman, that I make man." Okay, I read it in Genesis. I read it my fucking self, so no one can tell me that. Listen, he said, "I made man and woman," and then he said, "Adam was by his fucking self, seeing all the animals having sex and shit." And he was like, "It's not good for man to be alone." So then he just took bread out and made. Right, because it's a different human of, of him, though, but right beside him. I know him, what you're saying, because now you can actually see her and touch her and fuck her. I, and I do see all what you're saying, because there's two different accounts of the creation of Adam. Get it? There's two different, but actually, because actually, because Adam was not actually the first man. Because there's know actually, about that. there was people here before Adam. I never heard that. I heard about a bitch named, uh, uh, I'm sorry, a woman named, uh, Edith or, 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 or some shit like that where she was like oh, the fire, she was the yeah Lilith no, yeah hey give me some you know that's shit. stupid probably but let me tell you my they, cousin that's some Isaiah like, 34 shit I said that's dumb and I don't believe that but let me just say what I heard she said this girl was made with Adam like he made Adam and he made her she was yeah, not of him so she was defiant like a motherfucker she wanted to rule and, and that, she's the one that gave him the fucking apple. That's I a, said, no, uh, that don't make sense. That was Eve, of that, course. That's a Freemasonic teaching, actually. Word. I never, I didn't know about that. She, she just that's told not, me, and I was like, damn. That's, that's just not, that's not in the Bible. I never read it, so I said, I don't believe you. Don't tell me no stupid shit. Show me some word. Right. I believe the word. That's it. If it makes sense to me, I'm going to believe it. Let me, uh, let me read this real quick. Oh, uh, Timothy. Pull up Timothy yeah. and you read yeah, that one. Adam you pull up Timothy yeah. and you read that one. What you want to show me? Uh, second, I mean, not second. First Timothy 2, I'm going to start at 12. It says, I, But I suffer not a woman to teach nor to absorb authority over the man, but to be in silence. For Adam was first formed, then he her. Yeah. yeah. That's what I first. said. Like, it's supposed to be God. Adam listening to God. And then Eve listening well, to actually, Adam. And then it, Adam's kid listening it actually, to God. Fucking Eve. actually go to Heavenly Father, to the Son. To the man, to the woman. Oh, I forgot about that. It's a separate yeah, thing. Yeah, okay, yeah, I got yeah. you. I like that. Are like you that. right? You, that's what the Corinthians. I like that. I'm just remember what I read. I try to be a smart person. I mean, me? you got to read it. The scriptures say, "Blessed is he that read it." I don't want to be foolish, bro. You say read to show thyself worthy or something like that, right? Study to show thyself approved. Yeah. So I be trying yeah. to do that. People be trying to argue me like, "Oh, you look." And my uncle, my uncle, he's like, a, he's not an atheist. Yeah. But he believes in like ancient chemistry. Yeah. You know about that? Like the, the, the fucking Egyptians <laughs> you know, and shit? Yeah. I say, bitch, show me an Egyptian. <laughs> <laughs> say less, my nigga. Show me one Egyptian right now. You can't. Nigga, what the fuck you talking about? God destroyed them, you idiot. Because they, they didn't believe in him. What you talking about? Like, that's not, nothing better than God. They still here today, but... They, I mean, they, is, there they, any, uh, is there any Egyptian pharaohs they, they, running they, they, shit? They go with pharaohs. Yeah, the Egyptian empire long gone. I know an Egyptian. You got a tattoo of it on you because you went to his, uh, you know, you, you can find out your ancient uh, heritage or some shit online. I don't trust that shit. Like and everything. They, they put you saying, in a database and all kinds of shit. That motherfucker that. said, I'm an Egyptian. He got a tattoo on his fucking oh, chest. Shit. Nigga, a big ass pyramid. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> the hieroglyphs and shit. I'm like, what the fuck? He doing too much. Yeah, I, I thought that was weird, but hey. For real. For real. Yeah, because you descriptions tell you about the Egyptians were uh, wicked and evil. They were. They were terrible. And the Hebrews was God's people. And they was exactly. fucking them over and oppressing them. And that's just happening right now. Yeah. Think about this. Tell me if this makes sense. A job versus an entrepreneur, okay? Now, not to be funny, the white folks, when they was younger, when we were slaves and shit, they was taught to get some money, 
start a business, start a company, and hire people to work for you. You ain't got to work, you can make money. Now, I'm not trying to be funny. Again, black people was taught, go get a, go get a, go, go, to, go to college, right, spend all your money on that fucking tuition and shit, and then go learn how to get a job to go work for one of the companies that they taught them how to make, and you don't get to know that shit, right? I think I became an entrepreneur after I learned this shit. And then, the fucking rich white man at the top, I'm not racist, okay? But the rich white man at the top, he's my nigga. Rich Riley. I fucked with him for like six years. They try to keep me down. Right? Okay, this is, okay here, now you're at the energy company. Knocking doors, doors my shit. Million dollar company. Dude is a fucking millionaire because he got people working for $20 a night. When it's free, like 150 a night. If somebody signs up, you get 150 every month off this motherfucker. But you give me twenty dollars one time. I'm like, oh my god, I just make twenty dollars. Hey, yeah. if I do four times, I make a hundred. And he was fucking juicing us. And I found out, game after five fucking years of getting played by niggas, well, I started my own shit. I started hiring motherfuckers, and firing motherfuckers, and teaching motherfuckers how to make a week, is, two bands a week, three bands a week. You hear me? We was deprived of this knowledge. Even of who we are. You said I'm an Israelite, like, right? Who the fuck told me that? An Israelite? Exactly. Hey. Exactly. And that's why I fucking picked up. I only popped up. I didn't know where the sash was. I knew what y'all was going on. Yeah, we know what y'all was doing. I respect it. That's what I love. I want to teach that, but my ex for eight years, she kind of deprived me of this, bro. I used to preach to people like y'all do. But I ain't have one no outfits. I ain't have no Bible. I was just like, let me tell you what I know. Tell you what you don't know. What you think a woman go? But I, she bust. Go ahead. If I had a woman, I, she don't know what I do. But one day she walk, she seen me out here wearing this piece. What do you think is gonna happen? She gonna start talking shit. She gonna be talking one in her mouth. But she was like, oh, I only hear that shit. You always be yeah, always he, talking. He, you got a bottle and shit. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> oh, you boy, you got all. I'm trying to be honest with y'all, bro. You got the whole. I'm trying to be honest with y'all. I'm waiting for my brother, but hey. He got the whole. <laughs> I love God, I love myself. I feel good, all right? I'll let me know. The girl made me stop talking, though. She was like, you talk too much. You always talk about God, but you got a beer in your hand. Like, and that's that shit. Like, that, you, oh, you, you said fuck. weed, but you talking about God. You cuss, but you said You cuss. That's the main one we get. Oh, you cuss. Like, what? Like, you watch R-rated movies. Bitch, you watch porn. <laughs> you know what I mean? Fuck out of here. Me? What you talking about, right? They be judgmental and shit. I'm exactly. Like, I always go through the scripture. You got a whole tree up in your eye. A whole tree. That little twig. Micah 7 and uh, uh, shit, where's that? Oh, 5. Trust ye not in a friend, put ye not confidence in a guy, keep the doors of thy mouth, her that life and that was a woman. What does that mean? Someone that you, that you like a lot or something? The dope. A woman lies Don't put too much. You can't trust this woman. Okay, because that makes it. I just got fucked up by a woman. But it built me even more stronger and wiser. But it was terribly painfully and terribly fucked up. And I wanted to be like, you stupid bitch, right? It's like you got to get, get in that, that. that mindset. You got to get in that mindset. You got to get in that mindset. I don't know if you care about these women and shit. But you got to get in the mindset that do you dirty, do you wrong. You can't get all sad and shit over it. There's plenty more where that came from. I got angry. I got uh, yeah, you get, yeah, you got angry. angry. And I was like, like, but you know, a lot of guys, they can't handle it. I just said, hey, you know what? You're making a choice. I'm a fucking kid. I'm a boss. You're going to be sorry in the future. You see me. Yeah, I'm uh, about to OJ this bitch. Shit, watch. <laughs> hey, OJ Simpson, well, that, you know what he did was actually lawful. Actually, what he did was lawful. He did a uh, script. Awful. It's lawful. Because she guys uh, cheated on him. He cheated. That's adultery. She was with Ronald Goldman. But we ain't, we ain't in the Old Testament no more. Grace. Don't, that means OJ like, was in the Old Testament on that day. Was he? Fuck <laughs> <laughs> it. Was. Like, and then look. Ride, nigga. And then he still got not ass, guilty. Bitch. They said not guilty. Which is crazy. He's well, paid though, so I mean that kind of makes sense. Oh, you got that Johnny Cochran. Damn, I want to take this bus, but I want to hear more. Continue. We're just, nice Leviticus 20 and uh, 10. It's the best thing of my life. But what OJ did was actually lawful. You know what I mean? But we ain't going to tell people to do that. But no, of course. What he did was technically not wrong. Because they stoned bitches in the back Yeah, they stoned bitches. I understand that. Yeah. I don't even like to say that, man. I'm talking about God. Oh, we don't know. We always call them bitches. <laughs> it's, it, is. it is what it is. Hey, they, they, they got to earn that title, woman. 
You know what I mean? <laughs> Queen, right? Yeah, queen, queen, you got it. You got to shout me to a queen. There ain't no queens in this world. You a dollar bitch or a queen. What, what are you? Even in the kingdom of heaven, ain't going to be no queens. Shit. Is that true? It's or kings. A queen? woman can't rule. No, a, I doubt that. Only a man can rule. Can I tell you something that I heard? And there was a beastie ass preacher named T.D. Jakes. Oh, my Shit. God. I don't even know about him, but let me just say this. Oh my. We, I call, was, we call him T.D. Snakes. But it was true. Whatever the fuck. Are you serious? Come on, bro. We, him, we know uh, all this. He came to Columbus. Remember that? This is what no. we do. He came, what? Uh, he came to that one oh, church on 5th. On 5th, you know what I'm talking about? Um, no, 5th, right? Yeah. yeah uh, he he made merchandise. He, make, he turned the Bible into uh, merchandise. No. Yeah, what I, I want to say mean, is, well, he I, preached so good, the motherfuckers were willing to pay for that shit because they couldn't get yeah, the word that strong to the motherfuckers. When I was there, he said, he said, uh, at least need five people to get, uh, what's it called, a tie for a thousand dollars. Oh, yeah. I, mean, so, I don't yeah. like that shit. Hey, I don't like that shit. Yeah, well, that's, that but ain't when right. you say that, though, people go in their pocket hey, and pull that shit out. The Lord, would have, you read the scripture when the Lord was whipping people for over that money, yeah. they turned the Lord's house. He said, well, Let me ask you a question then. No. He, he started whipping them with a No, whip. he made a whip and started whipping them like that in my house, right? That's the first time I ever seen Jesus mad. I love that shit because that was some gangster shit. I said, Yeah. He's going to fire Dude, in my daddy's house, nigga. So he, he'll do the these. same thing to TD Snakes. But why didn't he? Why is he still prosperous and great and still good? Why don't hey, you hear his word? Nigga? A lot of compliments when I ask God about. Chapel is a living night. You know what I mean? Well, some of them got took up top. The preachers, those child masters, don't you know about them? They long and different yeah. ones. Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. What's done in the dark brought to light. I haven't heard nothing during the dark from TD Jakes that was like, damn, that's for real. But he, had, he, he came out of his own mouth saying things like, I was watching this one video because he was getting, uh, they was getting on him and they was like, uh, could they, he was turning the Bible into merchandise and, it, and he said, well, he said, well, this is just a business and the business is good. He said it was a business. He, he said he's doing it for money. He admits it. He said, it, uh, what's well, that? I didn't get that, but. Dad and Titus talk about people teaching for filthy lucrative sake. I was going to get to the point where it was saying that women. If you're teaching, not supposed to, to, to teach or preach or some shit like oh, that. Oh, yeah. Because now when Jesus died, and then he was raised on the third day, and they didn't really know if it was or someone stole his body. The first person that came to spread the word was a woman. A woman, two women. Now, look, I, I believe it was one because I don't remember. It's either just, it's just either he taught me wrong or I just didn't read it myself. But two or one woman. They seen the his cloth, they seen the angel who talked to him. And they went to the disciples, the women, and spread the good news. He's awake, we know he, he's alive, he's risen. Hey, we know. Hey, we're the first to tell y'all motherfuckers, right? But it was a woman. Right. My pastor was a woman. My first pastor was a man. Uh, oh, my grandpa, since I was a baby. Goddamn. But then, that's, when that, I got... That's, <laughs> I'm sorry. That's 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 but then when I got a little bit older, and I, and I read it, and I heard it for myself, I met a pastor, bro, I was in the hood. This is when I left church and shit. I was like, no, you can't let be a man, I'm gonna be a gangster. No, you're not gonna be a gangster, I'm gonna learn from the streets to be a man. Now I became a gangster. My pastor came out, he just got jumped. Right? Like other niggas just jumping and shit. Banging their ass and getting beat up. Then she's like, we got free hot dogs. We're gonna come, we're gonna come over to our little hotel. I said, hell yeah, what's up? We got free hot dogs, nigga, say less, right? It's the church in the hotel. See, they going off right there, it's feeding she, hot dogs. She moved up from the church, from, from the hotel, to a half of the building, to a half of the church, to a whole church. Yeah. And I was with the fucking entire time, I'm thinking, but you're a woman. <laughs> Never heard a woman preacher. Then I heard of Joyce Myers. Oh, God. That lady is the shit. Joyce Myers? I can't think of nothing bad to say about that woman. Oh my god. Please, goodness. if y'all know something. Bro, I used to watch Joyce Myers. I fucking love her, bro. She's, I swear she to God, like, I do. I'm not promise to God. She looks like one of them hill, hillbilly bitches she like a from man. the South Side. <laughs> Don't she? She like a god, sis. <laughs> she looks like one of them hillbilly bitches you see up in one of them bars and stuff. Yeah, up in them country look, bars. Singing Hey. Man, she, what she be saying? Bro, it'd be fucking yeah, accurate, but the bro. shit they say, though, is just easy, simple shit. No, God loves you. God going to save you. No, 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 no. They don't she say deep. shit like, I was molested as a child by my fucking father for all these God, years, damn. and God wanted me to forgive this motherfucker, and, and, and I took care of him up. until he died and shit. Bro, what she say don't make sense. It but, ain't like, no, it ain't like but they Joyce, teach you uh, the truth, though. Joe they, Osteen. But it, he just tells you happy stuff. He's always smiling. He don't tell you nothing bad, nothing God's going to do bad do to you. No. I'm telling you, Joyce Myers does. My nigga Stephen Furtick does. But the thing, look, they teaching. I don't know about T.J. So all the way because I don't, I don't, 
I only took that much. But, but then, ain't none of them teaching the things that really matter. This, first of all, the Lord came to save Israel. They saying the Lord come to save all nations. But did not That's say not this? Scripture. Hold on, wait. You said it's not in scripture? Tell me if this is wrong. For God so loved the whole world that he gave his only begotten son that whosoever, not just of Israel, whosoever believes in him, somehow because of having his life, is it not in the word? What does it say if they don't believe in him? And you're going to be burned like the fucking... He's like going to be condemned, right? Yeah. So he didn't come to save everybody. I think that he came to save anyone that believes. I believe that. Yeah, of course. It's written. It's but written. only Israelites are capable of believing. What about this? The, the promise was given to Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. That's all through the scripture. Hey, get Matthew 15 and 24. Give me one. Give me one. I want to know what you know, man. Because look, I told I you. some shit. Israel scattered among all nations. It's a mess. I think it was the Puerto Ricans, the Mexicans, they the Israelite. Africans. They Israelites. Different kinds of Africans. What about the Europeans? Are they one of them? You got Edomites and Israelites and scattered. Israel scattered among all nations. Like, like some people might say, I'm an Edomite, but I eat a goddamn Edomite. What is an Edomite? I don't know what the so, the so called white man is an Edomite. Are y'all part of the Israel though? We're Israelites. That's what I'm saying. That doesn't make any fucking sense. I just told you, Israel is all through the Bible. Israel scattered among all nations. That's why I told you the Irish people come from uh, black people. Israelites. Just like a lot of Italians and Sicilians. Yeah. The Sicilians. They're a different kind of black. They, they, right. Wars. A lot of them, they know they come from the Moors, so called. Black people, Israelites. The Moors were Israelites. I thought that they were Moors. They were the Israelites that got caught up in the Islam. Yeah. Every day, because the Bible clearly said the Lord only came for Israel. Until until he went to people and they, and they denied him. And he, and he went to the Gentiles, ah, right? And didn't he tell the disciples to go to the Gentiles? A lot of it, the whole world. A lot of the Israelites denied him. But why did he have twelve disciples? Because there's twelve tribes. The twelve tribes of Israel. That makes sense. Right, that shit all makes sense, man. So you're supposed to all of them. All right, continue. So, 1924, he answered and said, I have not sent to a lost sheep in the house of Israel. Yeah. Hey, he he said, the girl, girl this. I ain't, it ain't lawful for me to give the, the bread to, to the dogs before the sheep. Now, actually, dog, that <laughs> woman, baby, said, you know that the story then. You said that? But that woman, she was, he was talking to, him. she was actually an Israelite. Because I didn't get she, that. Because they said that she was what? Uh, uh, or something. A Canaanite. They said she a Canaanite or something Canaan like that. Canaanite, right? Okay. Oh, she but, was a Samaritan. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. But, uh. How right about that? But he, he told them what he said, great is thy faith. Because, because of your faith, now you now He you said, great is your faith, and now your daughter is whole. Because yeah. only Israel got that great faith. He said, a mystery and a secret, but the Israel don't even know they Israel. They, they lost their faith. They lost their faith. They don't that, believe now. They lost their identity, everything. My mind is getting tricked every freaking day. When I saw y'all, was deep as fuck. I said, oh, uh, my faith ain't here. Go ahead. Read it to me. It says, John 4 and 22, the Samaritan in that world. It says, you worship, you know not what. We know what we worship for salvation is of the Jews. That's what we tell the Christians. They, so you mean, they're, they're worshiping God because he's doing miracles and they want a miracle, but they really don't know they don't, about God. That's like the Christians. The, the, the Christians, they worship they, what they don't know. Yeah, on Sunday, Sunday only. I worship God listen, every day. All day listen I talk to, to God every day, all the time. I'm always talking to him. Listen to the last part of it, though. Read that again. I'm more like a fucking Muslim than a Christian, to be honest with you. Okay. He said, you worship, you know not what, but we know what we worship. We know what we worship. Salvation is up to Salvation but is up to I heard your response to what I just now said. And I don't mean like I'm trying to become a fucking um, a Muslim. What I mean is, what do the Muslims do? I mean, actually, some all day, every day, they're praying to God. All day. That go we do it too, only though. on Sunday. You know, Monday to Wednesday, we all fucking bitches. And they do that shit with their magic carpet. And all of a sudden, oh, it's Sunday again. That's how I put on a suit and act all holy. I don't like that shit. That's why I say I'm not a Christian. I'm a disciple of what God because I don't want to. I don't want to put myself in that category of motherfuckers that's not but, doing it right, don't know what the fuck right. they're doing, and it's stupid. But you read the scripture. You know the scripture. You read some of them. So what did the Lord say about praying? Where are you supposed to pray at, though? In private. In, in private. That's, that's in something between. That, fast and not like the Muslims, fast. they do it in front of everybody. Yeah. You know what I mean? They got the magic and I don't carpet. do that shit. Yeah. I don't like that shit. I don't, I don't, I mean, I don't really not that's like personal. it. That's personal. Right, right. I don't, don't understand it. it. I'm just like, all right, that's what y'all do. Maybe God's going to do that. Okay. They ain't tell me that, you ain't supposed I just to pray to him like this. Nowhere in the scripture. Oh, this this is talking about doing happen. it. Should I do this? Should I not do that? Yeah. I don't cuss to him, but you know what I mean? When I talk to him, I can talk to you. Literally. When, it, when you hear God talking to you, does it sound like yourself? Or does it sound like, ouch, oh, no. But it's not like yourself just talking to you in your mind or something. 
got the sniper, just that will you or your mind. I mean, the most high of self ain't gonna talk to you. Your fucking brain would explode. <laughs> you can't even look at the most high. <laughs> and the most high would send them angels and them spirits to you. And, that, and you well, wait, did he talk to Paul? I mean, when he was sore, then he was uh, like, why are you persecuting me? That was and he was like, high. oh shit. Yeah. That? Now, that wasn't the most Blind. high. If you look at the most high, you're dead. Oh, that is true. That was like Moses. Moses couldn't even look at him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Okay, I remember that. Yeah, yeah. Y'all niggas know some shit. I like we this. We can't even see like, the most high. What was that? Uh, Exodus 19, they was like, uh, they was like, fuck you, Moses. We want to talk to the Lord. And the Lord came down. He didn't even yeah. speak yet. And everybody was scared of like, Hell no, we don't talk to Moses. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it was like fire and shit. Oh my god, what the fuck is that? Never mind. That's right. <laughs> that's what that's so true. And that's so true. That's the Israel for you. Make an Israel, bro. They something else. It's gonna be harder. It's gonna be hard to unite Israel with America because. Oh, religion. Israel's fucking Americanized. They don't even think that they're fucking Israel's, and they got guns and shit. Like, they make it the fuck Let's get that scriptures. Yeah, you better go to church, bitch. And I'm like, motherfucker, do you know what happened to you? <laughs> you gotta get all the basics. Man, I'm a salesman, though. I'm a smart motherfucker. I know how to make sense of everything that I hear. All right. just accept everything. And now, what you just said about the so-called the state of Israel. Yeah. And, 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 all and we've been and telling you the whole time the, the real Jews and fucking oppression. The real Jews is black. I know. But watch this. That's what I'm trying to tell you. Revelation they two. All fucked up yeah. now. Because of what God said he's gonna do to him do around me. Revelation two and nine says, I know that works in tribulation of poverty, but thou art rich. And I know the blasphemy of them which say they are Jews and are not, yeah. but are the synagogue of Satan. Or any Jews That's so right called. Now. They're in Israel right now. They look like Jews. They ain't even fucking Jews and shit. They're not Jews. That been pissing me off when I seen that. I didn't know that for the longest. I'm thinking Israel was the motherfucking people look like that. And I learned this and I was like, what the fuck are we doing? Why are we over here trying to get nine to fives and rob niggas and kill people and, 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 and do stupid shit? And we could be over there in Israel with our own land. Man, the Lord gonna bring that fire great, though. Nigga. Lord gonna destroy that shit. He gonna burn the land of Israel. He gonna burn America with fire. Hey, this scared shit of me. I don't know if it was Isaiah or Matthew, but Jesus said this: "You think I came to give the world peace?" Uh, right, 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 <laughs> I right, see right. what the That's fuck. That's Matthew ten thirty four. He said I came to set fire on the world. And he said I, He said, said think that I come shit. to bring peace on earth. I come not to bring peace with a sword, bro. And that, bro, you don't understand when I reach that like that. Like when God says, I opened up the ground and I swallowed a whole motherfucking people. Close the ground. All right, to so my brother. Oh, I yeah. said, what the fuck, nigga? <laughs> right, 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 right. Read the word, nigga. What the yeah, fuck? Hey, that's what happened to me. That was the motherfuckers that they they said they could take Moses' job. They's like, we gonna do Moses' job. Oh, the Pharisees and them and shit. No, nah, that was uh, in the Exodus when uh, that was Korah. They would try to do a mutiny on Moses. You know what I mean? That's what happened. The Most I said, okay. And he swallowed their asses up in that yeah, hole. Yeah, bro, that shit was scary as fuck, bro. When I read that, I had a whole visual. Like, oh, my uh, God. you got the vision. What happened to these niggas? <laughs> what happened when you get that's closer how to you, the earth? Man? That's how you know you're an Israelite. Hey, because you know we was there. We seen that shit happen. Yeah. Because you know, because my ancestors. We are the Israelites. We we walked through the Red Sea. We was actually there. You know, reincarnations in the strip. Yeah. Do you know you got chakras? Seven of them, and one of them is yours. I don't know about the chakras, but I don't know about nope. the chakras. Don't. Nope. You just said you real fast. You I know life. about the chakras. Yeah, I thought I, but the one that I'm talking about. So you he gonna talk, talk to about the Metatron now or something? No, the one you can talk to your ancestors. <laughs> you know you said you can talk to your ancestors? No, you know, we don't talk to them. We are our ancestors. I just mean the knowledge of our ancestors. We have it in us. It's in our we it's have it's fucking it's chakras. In you. It's in you. No, I, I feel that. Yeah, that's Before why you I read got, the book, uh, I knew some shit. Before I read the book, I was meditating. Right, it's already in you. I kind of knew some shit, and I was like, what is this that I know? Why do I kind of know this? It's already in you. And then the preacher would tell me, and he will confirm what I know, or I'll read the Bible, and it will confirm what I know. What I'm saying is, I think that your ancestors, okay, we I are, said this, yeah. your body dies. Your soul is still here. Yeah. It goes into the heart of whoever the fuck loves you and cares about your members, right? Now, I think that whatever they it goes knew, through your sperm. Your spirit comes to your sperm. And you gotta have another baby to do it? Yeah. What if you never fuck nothing else? Uh, we, we can get a scripture that. on that. I ain't gonna lie, but I don't yeah. believe that yet. There's a big long yeah. process, but if you don't leave seed on the earth, the book of Matthew tells says you'd be as an angel in heaven. That's in what, Matthew 22? You know that scripture. No, I do Matthew don't. 22? That's real. You ain't read that? No. I believe this. If my body dies, my daughter fucking loves me, my mama loves me, my brothers, 
value all my thoughts and shit that I was trying to do. But that's establishing a good name for now, yourself. Now, what I mean is, nigga, my grandpa, everything he believed in, everything he stood for, I am now. Right now, he's dead. You understand? My family members, oh, yeah, that what they believed in, what, what they told me and shit, what they liked, that's me, nigga. Like, I'm telling you the truth. What I think is that when your body dies, your spirit either goes up to heaven, or it goes well, to whatever fuck loves you on this earth that's still alive that has ambition to do something with what you want to do. Because what you was here for was to do God's will, correct? Well, it's, I well, see you what you're saying. It's, God's will. it's good to leave a good name for you. That's scripture on that. Right? But, but, but a good name goes to the person that they can do that for God's will. None of will. our souls ever die. Because when we die, we got It's eternal. It's eternal souls. Oh, he might get a scripture. I just want you to bet your body you, dies. You know, I can't see you now. No, yeah, your body dies. That's it. And your spirit is still alive, but, but where does it go? Why well, you got it right here? Please. Uh, oh, is it in there for real? Yeah, it's uh, 12 and 7. Then shall the dust return to the earth as it was, and the spirit shall return to God and David. Wait, so we what's all. What's that Ecclesiastic what? 12 So we all. Re everybody. Everybody go to the Father when they die. He been drinking all day. He been thirsty now. He got to get hydrated. I swear I want to drink that shit. He goes to give you some other, other juice. <laughs> I was gonna offer it to you. I was like, nah. But check this shit. out. Everybody dies the same way. Like everybody, the good and the wicked, we all go to the same place when we die. Everybody goes back to the Before Father. Judgment though, right? Everybody goes, because reincarnation's in the scripture. There, there's because no hell or nothing like that. Wait, the place of judgment hell is in, I read that in Isaiah. I read there ain't it no myself. Hell. That's an English word, hell. It says, it says, it's an English who will be burned in the eternal fires or... Yeah, it, it is. Jesus gave us, okay, tell me what you think about this. Jesus gave us parables and said... This, Par parables, this hell is a parable. But he explained it to the disciples. Right. But he explained it to the disciples. And he said right. like this, he said... So speak on in the parables. He said, let's say Jesus... Speaks the word to you. Yeah, yeah. You want the thousands of people going to get fed by the fishes and loaves. He speaks parables to you. You don't get the parables. You, you, you like what he said. He was grabbed up for the moment, like a motivational speech or something. And then the devil chokes that shit out your ass so you don't, it don't never resonate with you. And it don't never sprout. The scriptures on that. Yeah. Now, that right there is like, man, where the fuck was I going with that, man? <laughs> Oh, it was juicy too. It was fucking Some juicy. Hell, uh, okay, hell, yeah, okay. Because hell, hell, like hell's a parable. He said this like uh, metaphor. Okay, there's a good sower. I mean, there's a there's the let's say you, I know you're the parable of the sower. You sowers. own the motherfucking field. Yeah. And you're sowing good seed and you give right. it to your people. So good seed. And then they don't even know that when they go to sleep, the enemy comes or they there's just weeds sown with the fucking good seed, right? Yeah, yeah. Weeds. Then come harvest time, the weeds come up, and they're like, well, what the fuck is this, master? Right? There's weeds with the, should we pick the weeds? He said, no, yeah. let it grow. And then in the end, no, harvest. we're going to take it. Separate. We're going to separate it. Now, he said this. When the, the disciple said, well, what did that mean? Why are you speaking in parables? Yeah. He said, well, it's Isaiah spoke it. I got to do what he said. That's why I did that. But this is what it meant. He said, the, the seed, the good seed that you planted, it's the good word for me, from God. Okay, and then the, and then the evil person that sowed the weeds was the devil. Yep. Okay, he said if you plant your seeds on, on sand, you gotta have good soil. If you plant it on sand, soil. it's a rock. If you plant it on rock, it's a rock. When right. right. it comes, when the shit comes, you gotta have that good soil. But the last one was the good soil. Yeah, that good. Better than that, right. oh, you good. Right. You straight. So that's what we got. That good. And soil. then God said this. He said that the weeds. Are the people in the end of the days, the last day, when God says, You ain't bearing no fruit, you ain't know me, you ain't fuck with me, you told people, That's a terror. Go to church if you're scared, right? right? You did the all that That's shit. That's the terrors. You understand? Yeah. What's gonna happen to them people? they getting burned what? the fuck up. You said, they in hell. Let's do our actual again. Let's do our actual again. Right. He said, I'm gonna, in the same way that the motherfuckers gonna take the wheat, throw it into the fire, because it was useless, it wasn't bearing no fucking fruit. Same with me in the end days with the man. They don't fuck with God. They don't repent or whatever. They gonna be thrown into the lake of fire. Now what's the lake of fire? What's the lake of fire? Fire that you can't fucking fucking. The lake of fire gonna be America when it's on fire. And when we get beaten up into the ship, we 
you don't look that, it's going to be a lake of fire. That's all you're going to see. So either way it goes, it's still hell, though. If you're alive, oh, that's, 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 that's hell, hell, right? That's, that's hell. That's fucking hell on no, earth. No, they, they got missiles called hellfire missiles. Yeah, so the, all, millions of missiles are back. Millions of missiles are finna get shot on America, bro. That's gonna be the lake of fire. Burn one. Oh, okay. <laughs> I don't give a fuck. This is just than everything That's else. fair. We don't have to, uh, many people choose the bus over the, the world. What y'all, what's y'all's name, man? I'm Troy. Uh, King Troy or oh, yeah? Troy of the city, whatever the fuck. <laughs> what's your name? A-Rod. A-Rod? They call me T-Boy if we're doing that. Go oh, my Hebrew name for life. Why? Yeah, yeah. That's crazy. My Hebrew name is Aharawan. Aharawan? Yeah, but my Hebrew name is. What's your name? Your name is Troy? Yeah. Yeah, that means water. That's one like the ancient Trojans or something, right? Yeah, yeah. The movie Troy, the city Troy. City Trojans. All that shit. I love my name. It means water. Like, Bruce Lee said this shit to me, bro. I studied a bunch of people. He came. said Bruce Lee said this. <laughs> no, I swear to God, I studied. He was talking. To I studied a whole bunch of people. Now listen, Bruce, Bruce Lee said this. Bruce Lee is Israelite. He That's said, I, said. I believe that. He said, be like water. He said, water. You flow like water. Can flow through everything easily, it can, it can. or it can crash through no, fucking everything no. and anything. He said, be like water. Like if you're fighting a, a fucking, if you're fighting a mountain, be like the water. If you're fighting the water, be like the fucking mountain. That's the beast and shit that I ever fucking heard, bro. And it makes so much sense. I like that. I use that all the you time. You like motherfucker? I'm like, hey man, it's cool. Bruce Lee's a you philosopher. Like, hey, it's cool. I'm like, motherfucker. <laughs> hey, you do got flow with water. Yang Yang. You do got flow like water. That's true. And, and the this, word? this word is a stream. Is a, is, hey, is I was about to say that shit with the word. Yeah. That's the word. That's why it moves. It I moves love it. This, and you gotta go with the stream. You can't fight it. I do. When I do fight it, you can't it fight fucks it. with me. It's like you, you can't, can't swim it. upstream. You know what I mean? It's gonna be a bad, bad day. You know what I mean? Give me something. Uh, John seven thirty eight. Give me something. Give me something. Uh, John seven thirty eight. He that believeth on me as the scripture oh. has said. So you can't fight it. You can't fight it. He that believeth on me as the scripture has said. So the scripture said what? The Lord only came for Israel. Scripture said, uh, what it said more than that though. What's that a lot? I was, I was about to name I a bunch told of you stuff. that it said, whoever believes in him shall perish, not perish, shall have less life. The Israelites supposed to have everlasting life only. Until, they, until his own family was like, ain't you the motherfucking son of, of that guy, uh, uh, Joseph. Joseph? Ain't you the mother of Mary? Ain't you, ain't you the brother and sisters? I know their names because I write that shit. I know his brother's his name. Nigga, whatever was Judas. Right. I say, what the fuck, bro? That means something different to me. I don't know if you're a pension man or something. What? Okay. Because he said this. You said that he only died for the end of his own. Of course. But the part that is written that I read out loud was that whoever. I know that. Whoever. He's talking he about He also ever. said to his disciples, all right, don't go into Samaria, don't go into this place, but go into all the, go into, go into all the places of the world to, to preach this. Like, everybody. Uh, you just... You spoke of the Lord's brother, right? Jesus. You know, well, brother, you had yeah. a brother named James, right? He had a brother named James, Judas. Uh, right. I want to say. I'm, uh, try, I'm trying to. Uh, Simeon I'm trying, or trying, to, show, or I'm trying to show you that mystery. Now, this is what his brother said. James. Jesus. I never heard it. James. I never heard it, I now, this is what James 1 and 1 said. His brother? This is this is his epistle, right? Ooh. This is James. Okay. Very first scripture in James 1 and 1, he tells you who he's talking to. It says, James, the servant of God. And of the Lord, Yahawashai Mashiach, the English says Jesus Christ. He says, to the 12 tribes which are scattered abroad, greeting. So he's only talking to the 12 tribes that are scattered. He were scattered. That's why the Lord said it. He said, I'm only sent to the lost sheep of the house of Israel. So it's a lot of them, though. Like all them Gentiles in the New Testament, those are all Israel. Get back. Hold that, John 7. Well, all these other Israelites, too, they're scattered. They like, don't know like, who they are. They didn't know who they was. That's why you go teach the word to them. Oh, I like, like that. Like, you know, that Cornelius. Another, another Cornelius was actually an Israelite. Okay? Timothy was actually an Israelite. They might have been exactly. called Greeks. Like, no, when, when you I look into it. the it history, the, when you look into the history of the Greeks, you're going to find out a lot of them was actually Israelites. Don't you know the, uh, the Apocrypha? It te this tells us that the Spartans were Israelites. Like the Thomas. All you know shit. who the Spartans were, right? Yeah. I the remember the, mom, the movie 3000. The 300. 300. 300. 300. Yeah, that yeah. shit, right? The motherfuckers took Leonidas, over. Leonidas, that's why I said. They took over Israel. I got you. But the description tells us they was Israelites. It just it tells them the, the day or the stock of Abraham. Yeah. It's just like, just like for example, like the Gentiles, we became the Gentiles. Because uh, the Lord said in Hosea 1, he said, 
that since we disobeyed the Lord, we He said, uh, "You are not my people." You are not my people. And then so so what else he said? For now, yeah, for now. Now, Which was but, scary to me at first. Yeah. So like before we knew it was Israelites, what we was calling ourselves? We was calling ourselves. Of course. Now before we knew it was Israelites, we was calling ourselves American. Oh yeah. You know what yeah. Saying? So back I in the day, nigga, I'm a yeah. black person. Right, right. So oh, back yeah. in the day, what was they calling themselves? Greeks. Yep. Romans. Oh, because they was under the power. They got scattered. They got that scattered. makes sense. Damn, I didn't fuck about that look, part. Why are you singing that? Let me read this real quick. This is a uh, prophecy in Amos. Amos nine and nine. Behold. Actually, that's 98. I never even heard that before. Amos is in the Bible? Amos 9. Let me read Amos 9 and 9. <laughs> this is Amos 9 and 9. For lo, I will command and I will sift the house of Israel among all nations. Like a corn is sifted in a sieve, yet shall not the least grain of fall upon the earth. That's why he turns it to But he said he going to sift Israel among all. You know, you've seen it, how you sift gold yeah, out the river. Yeah, you try to see what's you good and what ain't good. So he's taking all the nations, just like the wheat and the tares parable. And whatever's death. Because the, the wicked's the growing up with the good. You don't yeah. know what's what. And it's scary. It's confusing. So you got, you got it can be confusing. You got to sift it. The Lord going to sift Israel. I've you been trying I mean? to sift Israel. I can't even do it. <laughs> I want to just finish it. I got a piece right now. Oh, my goodness. Oh, man. Don't be in the camera now. Do it. We're going to get all kind of strikes. Oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> you, still, you still want to John? Or? Yeah, we'll wait till you get back. Because we just read that. Now we established we got to listen to the scriptures. When we say you can't fight against the current, he said you got to flow like water. You don't want to fight the water. You'll lose that battle. You can't fight the water. The scripture says that. Uh, uh, force not the course of the river. That's a rock. Oh, yeah, there is a yeah. yeah. Wow, what I think was it's like three or four? I know it's three or four. Oh, really? Yeah. Force it. Yeah, force not. I got an apocryphal. You got an apocryphal search engine? Yeah. Oh, you do? Yeah, you don't got one? I do. Oh, okay. I thought I was the only one. It's yeah, like, I got that. Uh, but they, they, had, they had some weird ones, too. They had three new books. Hey, that, Josh, you're on a, I got a book for you. All right, you got, a, you got an extra Maccabees or something there? Nah, it's like a. Uh, like a Enoch and oh Enoch, Enoch. oh that's some bullshit. Enoch is the shit. That's that. That's that. That's not the real. That's not the real Enoch, bro. How? What? That, that ain't no real Enoch. So there ain't no descriptions of the angels and the heaven. And all I'm saying is, how could there be a book of Enoch? I mean, we have, I mean, I mean, we gotta stick to this. Once topic, that'd be a whole nother. That's an hour right, long. Let me video. just say this one thing real fast. But we ain't gotta talk about it. But I just wanna say why well, I think that it's real as fuck. The Bible says there was Enoch. He walked with God. He walked with God. So and how could he have a book? never said enough about it. So how could he have a book if he was been? That was before the flood. Well, well, well before the, even the flood, there was writings about this motherfucking dude. If he was that motherfucker. I'm not sure there was. If he was a rich man, perfect. By God, he did everything right. He was, shit, he was blessed, obviously, by God. He would have been like a fucking king. He would have wrote about it. Before, Nebuchadnezzar would take certain things of the Bible that he liked, right? Like the book of, of Thomas and shit, like the Apocrypha that you're talking about. He would take books out, why would he take the book of Enoch out? That's the one that's described, oh, the Holy Spirit, the the, 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 the angels, I'm glad you all that shit. Like, I'm he broke it down. I read it. I'm I, glad I, we I watched started. the fucking video on it. I'll say that makes fucking sense. This is more the truth I've ever heard of anything about the Bible, about Amy, 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 angels. God. I'm glad we started talking his, about the Apocrypha. His rank, nigga, like how scared they are of, of God, how angry yeah. he was, that he even went up in the fucking heavens, yeah, but the, uh, angels, nigga. But that wow. Enoch that stuff. That was prescriptive as fuck. That, that, that e Enoch. Try to take a picture, but his phone dropped. Ah, uh, that's yeah, the spirit. Nigga, you the, try. This <laughs> the spirit was not willing. You try. <laughs> he said, hey, all kind of spiritual shit happened out here, bro. I'm weak, bro. I love it. I love it. But look, this is <laughs> we talking about the old Apocrypha. Yeah. Look. Back to the same thing I keep trying to talk about, trying to get to you. Okay. okay. It's a, you read the book of Tobit? But look what the book look what the book of Tobit says. What is it? Tobit? To Tobit. Tobit. Look, this is Tobit 13 and 3. It says, confess him. Now listen. It says, confess him before the Gentiles, ye children of Israel, for he hath scattered us among them. Among them. He so were among them. But when you see that. Like, except, but let me read it again. Confess him before the Gentiles. That's what we're doing. I do that shit every day. But look, confess him before the Gentiles, ye children of Israel, for he hath scattered us among them. That's why I was trying to tell you, like, all them so-called Gentiles in the New Testament, they actually Israelites. 
they, 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 they've been scattered. They, they you know, said they lost to by us. They lost their identity, lost their ways, they lost the, you know, the, the laws. They don't know. They don't know nothing. You know what I'm saying? Just, even like us, before we knew the truth, we didn't know. I think that was on purpose. Of course, it was on purpose. Because they tell you that look, it's in Deuteronomy. Yeah, in Deuteronomy, how they got dispersed through the slavery and shit, like the white man, or even some of the black man too, so sold them and their own people into slavery and shit. Yep. They took away their identity, their knowledge, their their hit, their uh, heritage, and they gave them some different shit. This is what you're do. They gave him Christianity. Right? Yeah, that's what my uncle liked Christianity. He was talking about that the other shit, the ancient Kemet. But I said, <laughs> all that is is just the Hebrew transferred into English. Or even if, even if it was a whole different book, how the fuck is it accurate to be right now in my life every fucking day that I read it every day, all the fucking time, every time? How? It's not possible if a white man who's a human that was about to die three or four, five hundred years ago, he don't write. Shit that God does forever. Why would you? Yeah, why did he try to say the white man wrote the Bible? Yeah, which is dumb. A, it's a, in every fucking book, there's And like, the Bible says. There's, there's yeah. nigga fucking niggas. It's, it's like, the, this is written by Abraham, this is written by fucking Isaac, this is written by. Right, you'll never hear John, I mean. Why would he write a book like, that condemns uh, himself? Uh, why would a white man write a book that condemns himself and to say he going into slavery? Get it? It doesn't make no sense. Get it? So, I don't believe that shit at all. People always say that to me. I didn't mean that we book because a man wrote it. Man. Said, Bitch, if you really think about it, there was different men from different generations that wrote the fucking Bible yeah. that made it a whole fucking Bible. Yeah. So for it to be accurate, God had to be in control. Ain't no fucking man not fucking smart. He can't even, he can't live on the generation to pass that shit on. He can't make sure that it gets passed on correctly. What you talking about? It's here right now. Let's talk about it right now. Yep. Still whole and perfect. That yep. lets you know that God did that shit. That's a number one seller. In the, world, in the world, man. Hey, I can still they got all the records. Makeup, right? that's, that's really that's do, it really do got all the records of. You know what I mean? And I love it. And ain't I make songs Ain't nothing out selling the Bible, bro. Ain't nothing. Nothing come close. Well, I, everybody want this book. When the shit hits the fan. Then they want the book. They, they want the book. But when it's all good. Yeah, they don't want it. They don't want that shit. They want some they money and pussy, right? Hey, hey notice that when the shit hit the fan, they not looking for no Quran. They not looking for the... Uh, Oh my more. God! They looking for that. Tell me if you heard this. No, most people don't because they don't study what I study. I studied this. There was like three people. There was a, a Christian, a Muslim, and then a, a Jew. 